Get ready, folks, for the hidden gem of the Puppy Bowl, the Kitty Halftime Show. You say dance, I say dance, but for a kitty, it's meow. That should make total sense. My name is Bethany Jarvis, and I'm a cat choreographer. With traditional choreography, it's all about move this way, move that way, point your toes, that top makes you look evil. But for me, it's all about what the cat's vision is. Am I doing this right? Just like that. Oh. Not literally, but figuratively, emotionally. A one and two and three and four. Yes, that too. The key is positive reinforcement. Hey, I got you guys a present. Sometimes you gotta bribe them. The cats have taught me everything. I've rethought the way that I live, the way that I date. How many cats do I personally have? Zero. Hmm. Okay, that's where I draw the line. In order to make the music on time for the Kitty Halftime Show, we've locked ourselves in the studio. I'm Sven Denizen. My name is DJ Dark. And together, we are... We are people who make music DJs. for cats. Cat DJs. People who make music for cats. We don't have a group name yet. We make music for cats because they are the perfect vessel to understand perfect music. That's right, they hear frequencies that we can't hear. What'd you say? They have frequencies. For the kitties, it's important for us to find original and uh, unique sounds to record. You see any dust? No. It's weird, right? There's no dust. No dust. We don't always get along. Ouch. Sorry. Sorry. What do you mean you want this song to have a 30 minute noise breakdown? I want the people to be uncomfortable. We make pop music for cats. Is this all this is to you? Pop music? Ooh, I'm leaving for good this time. Did you hear that? It made a good noise. The fun part is when we get the client to watch what we're working on, and then they can look. Yeah, that part's very fun. The cats can be such a tough audience. We're not going to let two small cats tell us how to make music for cats. All in all, I still think that we're going to crush it. If there's any kids watching at home, please do the music. Yes. If the music's there, if it's in your heart, do it. If it's not in your heart, then go to the, the go office away. shop. Go away. If go to the office. Go to the office and with the neck. Tickety-tackety. Ooh, that sounds good. There is only one way to dance. Tickety tack. There is only one way to dance. Everybody knows. Zero 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 zero. That's good. Let me put that on. What can I say? I just like dressing kitties. My name is Carl Jensen, and I'm the wardrobe supervisor of the Kitty Halftime Show. What do you mean it's too flashy? It's gotta be flashy, it's the halftime show. Right. <sighs> Fine, I'll take it in. People always say to me, hey Carl, what's the hardest part of your job, Carl? And I say, putting the clothes on the cats. Obvs. What the? I told you to wait. Although, you can pull that off. Yeah, we can probably keep that on you if you want. It's true. Last year we had a wardrobe malfunction. 
It's not going to happen again this year. No, no, no. I got my eyes on you, little trickster. I'm going to be flawless this year. Fun fact about me, I was raised by cats. That's me graduating. I got top marks. That's me at prom. That was my date. You know, it was hard to get her in the limo. There's me with mom at Christmas. I think we broke all the ornaments that year. Leave it to my loving parents to give me the time-honored gift of a revolutionary formula that seals and destroys Oda. He understood me. There is only one way to dance.